Here's where the Gila River and the Salt River meet up. And you can see there is an absolute flood of water here. This is a pathway that is usually dry. This is the Salt River, about 200 miles long. We've had a lot of rain the last few weeks out here in Phoenix and up northern Arizona, and it's all flowing down the Salt River right now. A little dam right here that usually you can walk over and walk out there up in the middle. And if there is any water flowing, it's usually just right down there in the middle. But today, you can see it's quite a lot more water. Most of the time, this is just dry. Today, it's flowing water. And over there, you can see I-10. Not too far from the Phoenix International Airport either, otherwise known as Sky Harbor. And about 16 to 17 miles west of here, is the Phoenix International Raceway, which is right about where the Salt River dumps into the Gila River. the end of 40th Street in Phoenix, near Tempe, right by the airport. I mean, this thing is usually just bone dry here, and it is absolutely full of water. This is also a common spot to come and watch the airplane. That's the Tempe Town Lake Dam. It is absolutely just gushing water over. I went there this last weekend with my kids. If you want to check out the video we made of that, I'll put a card over here. You can go and click on this it. This down here is usually dry. Not today. I'm over at the Tempe Marketplace, out by the parking lot over here. That's the 202 right there. This is McClintock Drive. This water right here is usually more like a swamp. And it's on the back end of the Tempe Town Lake. You can see over there, kind of a small little dam. And there's just water just gushing over it right now. Now I'm on the other side of McClintock, where you can see that little dam that kind of marks the beginning of Tempe Town Lake. Of course, they don't let boats pass those markers way down there. Power pull on stilts. We're here by Mesa Riverview Park. Sloan Park is over there where the Cubs play for spring training. This is the 202 and this takes us under the 202. Over here on the edge of Tempe, they are still working on the sidewalk. This is very unusual to have this water right here in the Salt River. This is usually bone dry. This is McCulloch Road. Under a few feet of water. 
and a shopping cart. See if I can zoom in down there and you can see it just flooding over the road. And there's the 202. Road closed. the north end of Horn in Mesa right up to the Salt River where normally this would be dry and it's like a lake out here This is Gilbert Road. They've got half of it closed off. You can see it's uh, kind of washed out there. Unfortunately, the other side is still open. There's the Granite Reef Dam. It's a dispersion dam. Unfortunately, I can't get much closer to it than this. Quite a ways upstream and from here. There's a bunch of other dams. They're likely all full and spilling water over their spillways. So by the time it reaches here, they got more water than they can handle. It's dumping it to the Salt River. The Granite Reef Dam is over 100 years old. You want to splash water all over yourself. Phoenix International Raceway. Phoenix? 